And we've got a good one for you tonight. Oh, yes. Sodbusters. Talking Sodbusters. Uh, Sodbuster is a time-tested and honored uh, classic folding knife that uh, really is the staple of kind of the working man's knife. You know, it's kind of that pattern. Um, it's a fun pattern to, to have in your collection because it's just so, uh, so traditional. Are we going to hop into the sodbusters here, you think? Yeah, the, the meat and potatoes of this, what this video is supposed <laughs> to be. I wasn't going to say that, but... So, sodbusters. I have, I don't, I have not owned a sodbuster before. Mm. And again, I hate saying this because I go back and watch our videos and I hear me go, I'm not a traditional guy. I'm tired of hearing myself say that. So, uh, I, I do have a couple of traditionals. I have uh, the Buck 55. Yes. Uh, I've actually had two of those. And then... Um, I've got a canoe, and now I have the big um, Hunter Boulder yes, XL. Yeah, so case I have several now, so I need to stop saying that. <laughs> and I wanted to get into the Sodbuster game because I like a single blade. Mm. I reckon I'll have me some of the big ones. Yes. I'm, I'm a fan of a single blade, thought of the Sodbuster, and I had looked at this company before because they were originally a, a, no, a local uh, knife company. They, right. They've since, I think, moved to Ohio. Um, so I looked into them. I was like, oh, this one looks pretty cool. Acrylic handle. I don't know anything with acrylic handle. You had one. The I Arroyo. had an, ar an artisan, yeah, yeah. with an acrylic handle. And I was like, okay, I can get an acrylic handle. And so when I saw uh, this particular one, I was like, it's Western themed. Yeah. It's a, good, it's a great looking handle. It's a great looking handle. That's about it. Because once you get it, it's not centered. It's not really sharp it's warped like a mother yeah. just it's leaning to the weiss there quite a bit <laughs> and like you can feel like mm. i mean it's not smooth on the back end you can hear yeah i mean it's yeah so this is kind of the what not to do what a idiot oh what a loser and the funny thing is i was like i'm gonna go low end Right. Like, I don't want to spend a lot of money on my first Sodbuster. So I bought this off the internet, and having never handled it, never seen it. It doesn't say mini. It, it's just the Western acrylic Sodbuster. So when I get it, and it's really small. It's smaller than the Hyper. It's, it's smaller than all the things that I have. Yeah. And so for me, I mean, it's kind of a three and a half, four okay. finger. Okay. It's pretty small. Yeah. And I was like, I'm going to go cheap. I don't want to spend a lot of money. I spent... 20, I think it was $27 plus tax and shipping. I think it came up to $35. Mm. How much was yours? Uh, mine was like, I think like 52 after tax and everything. Yeah. So, but you know. the quality. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so just, yeah, just so we have it, here's them side by side. And y'all can see, I mean, it is an attractive handle on this Roper knife, which is, yeah, the brand is Roper Knives, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, it's American Buffalo Knife and Tool. Right. Roper Knife. It's Roper, yeah, yeah under, their, under their headline. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's 1065 steel, yes? Yep. 1065 is not ideal. Um, obviously, it doesn't really hold a candle to 1095. Right. Um, and you typically don't see traditional companies going below 1075. So 1065 is kind of like, eh, you know. Um, but, again, it's, it's just... This is the problem with some of these sort of brands that you kind of aren't familiar with. You, you know, you haven't really heard too much about. Yeah. And, you know, they're having the knives assembled in China, I'm assuming. Do you know? I have no idea. Okay, we should look into that. Um, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Obviously, Rough Rider has their knives assembled in China. They're, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> and so, like, there's a lot of great Chinese-made traditional knives. Um, I think it's just a matter of knowing the right factory. Uh, now, of course, when you compare this to Case, I'm a Case fan. Uh, and I'm, I'm becoming a case. <laughs> so. Case has their own issues. I'm not going to try to like, you know, paint a perfect picture here. But uh, a lot of the problems that you're going to find with, you know, some of these more no-name companies. And again, I don't want to like, I'm not trying to throw American Buffalo Knife Tool under, under the bridge or anything. I'm yeah. just saying uh, 
a lot of the problems that you'll see with those aren't going to be as apparent on case knives. Um, so for this, for instance, on this one, if we're laying them both side by side, this one does have a pretty noticeable amount of blade play. Mm -hmm. uh, and as, as Walsh said, the blade is pretty seriously warped. Um, this one has a, a tinge of blade play. It's not a lot. Actually, see if you can even feel it because it's minor. Barely. Yeah, I mean, it's it's minor. Yeah. Yeah. So um, not not in comparison to the ticket. Right. Yeah. Blade on this one's not warped. Um, and I, in all honesty, again, case has their issues. I've never seen a warped blade on a case, right. not once. Uh, the action is really nice. It's stiff at the front and then pops open at the end. It, it, it's 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 almost like. No, that's a light pull on that, that's right? Very Plus, light that light. one's a back lock too. It is a back lock, so yeah. there's no half stop, but it's still, I mean, like a two and a half. Okay. I okay. mean, it's very just. Yeah, if yeah. I was gonna give this one a number, it's like a seven up front, and then a six at the back. Yeah. There's no half stop, but it has a slowdown. Yeah, this has a slowdown. It's like a three and then a five. Okay. All right. Cool. Yeah. Um. And. Uh, Another thing I'll touch on is the handle materials. Acrylic is, it can be really cool. Yeah. Uh, and I, again, I think this looks really neat. Um, however, my only concern with acrylic, it's not easy to crack acrylic. Like that's pretty tough, but it can be done. And once you do it, it's, yeah, it's, it's done. And I actually work with acrylic on, on occasion, not often, but I do get to work with acrylic from time to time. And that is a material that if you're not careful, you can make mistakes with it. Um, here we've got bone. Bone can be cracked too. So, I mean, you know, but to me, uh, as, if you're talking traditional knives, I do kind of prefer bone just for the sake of uh, the, 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 the histor historicity of it. If they, can, I, can I use this? Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Is that yeah. word? His historicity. <laughs> the historicity of it. Uh, it's always been a knife handle material. You know? Did you just make up a word? I might have. A, who knows? Do you ever start a sentence and you don't really know where you're going? I feel like that's the world I live in, like 90% of the time. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, but, but yeah, um, other than that, uh, one other issue I'll touch on on this one, it's pretty well flush on the back spring throughout. When you close it, there is a bit of a dip here now. Oh. So that's an issue. Um, however, this one doesn't have any particular gaps or anything like that. Uh, blade centering is good. It's actually a pretty darn good example of a sod buster from Case. Uh, so I picked this up at Tennessee Cutlery, which is quickly becoming kind of our go-to store. Yeah. Um, and I will always say, if you're going to buy a Case knife, try to buy it in person. Uh, because again, there, there are issues. But uh, if you can go to a store, typically they'll let you handle as many as you want until you find the one that you know is the one you want. So, so yeah, that's kind of my take on that. Some places uh, have a limit. You can only handle three. So, yes. Well, that's the other thing. <laughs> and as, as typical with the place we are speaking of, right? Uh, depending on who you get, that rule could change. Right. Depending on the salesperson that's working with you, that rule could totally change. I've been told, oh, you can only handle three. I've been told, oh, yeah, we can handle, we can sit here and handle a few, you know, like as many as you want. Uh, so, again, it's just luck of the draw at that, at that place. At that place. Um, yeah. with a place which we love. We love that place. We do. A place that, like Case. I love Case. Case has issues. We love this knife store. This knife store has some issues. Um, but anyway, that's kind of my long-winded, <laughs> kind of rambly explanation on, on this case, Sodbuster, this particular one, Sodbuster Jr. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, it's a great little knife. I love the jigging. And that's one thing with Case. Their jigging is always on point, man. I have never handled a case where I'm like, oh, this, this handle material sucks. Like, that doesn't happen with Case. I even mm -hmm. would go so far as to say that I prefer their handle materials to GEC. Uh, I think that GC's fit and finish is better, but the way Case handles bone and uh, and the way they handle my carta, I actually do prefer. Well, not my carta. I'll give my carta GC, but the way Case handles bone and stag, I actually prefer. Uh, so anyway, um, oh shield, we have a shield. Uh, great shield. Yes, this is the. It's you can either call it a kite shield or you can call it a a uh, houndstooth shield. I've heard them called either. Mm -hmm. To me. It always looked like a big kite shield, like a knight would carry, you know? That's what I always think of, but I can see hound's tooth as well, um, or dog tooth, but uh, yeah. Anything you want to add there? Well, no, other than now I want a, oh yeah, that's a great pull. It's a good pull, that's isn't it? It's a good pull. Yeah. I want a large version of this knife. Um, yes, if they made that one in a full-size sod, I, yeah. I would have picked that up for sure. Because after carrying the, um, I can't, 
I, I can't put the XL out of like the Hunter, the Hunter, the Hunter. <laughs> Folding Hunter XL. I want this mm. in, an, in an XL or just a large mm. um, to carry as well. So I like the mini size of it, but at the same time, like I want a full size. Yeah, yeah. And that's the thing. So the full size sod, like that was made, you know, for farmers. You know, that's made to be a working knife. Yeah. And uh, you can beat the tar out of them. And that, that's you know. why I want. Yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> so yeah. Um, and they're affordable. You know what? You can get a, a like kind of baseline full size sod. For like I swear like 35 bucks and and then that, no, that's not in you know a fancy bone handle that's in like uh, a uh, what's, what's the stuff called it's basically like glorified plastic but um anyway yeah uh, yeah now like Delrin Delrin yeah oh I would have never got that now that 35 bucks he's referring to just yes. to let you know if you watch this video in two years don't don't quote us on yeah, that thirty five dollar yeah, yeah. price. It's gonna go fake up. Fake news. Fake news. <laughs> it's gonna go up. Just check the date. It's oh, somewhere. Hang on. It's right. It's right here yeah. under me. There's <laughs> Before a date. Before you go on a tirade, there's a date. Uh, some of y'all are special. Oh no no we're gonna we love all of y'all but some of y'all. <laughs> I guess some okay so. For you, this was kind of, you didn't do a three month follow up on this knife. I did so, not. So I guess from that perspective, is there anything you wanted to kind of add to that? No, and I did not follow up with them. Um, okay. Because it had been too long and I was just kind of upset. I, you know, I should have emailed them and been like, hey, this thing sucks and it's warped and you should have done some sort of uh, quality control. Quality control and looked yeah. at it and been like, wow, that's not good. Yeah. Um, but again, it's kind of on me because I was looking at the shiny. I like it a lot. Boy, look, it's shiny and look how cool it is. And I, I didn't make my purchase off of traditional knowledge, years of experience, go-to mm. uh, type of information. So that's my bad. I mean, I get it though. Those handles are like when you see it, it's like, oh, that's a, yeah. that's a pretty handle, you know? And it's got the Western pattern on it, you know, it's, it's yeah. attractive or almost like a more of a native kind of thing. Almost. Almost. But, yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, no, I get it. Um, yeah, I guess for me, I haven't really actually even shown this. I mean, maybe I've shown it. But it's been on one it. short. Oh, it was on, on our uh, yeah. fastest pocket check ever video. Oh, uh, yes. Yes. 60 seconds. Yes. So I guess I'll add to that. I carry this knife a lot. I really enjoy it. Um, and I mean, I, by a lot, I mean at least two or three days a week. I, that's how much I carry this in my fifth pocket. Um, it is the perfect size for a fifth pocket. That's the way I like to carry my slip joints, ideally. Uh, although if I'm in, you know, whatever kind of mood, I will carry some big ass trapper in my main pocket. Uh, but this is a perfect fifth pocket. It's great for, you know, opening or in front of, you know, people that you don't want to alarm. Because, mm -hmm. you know, people see this and they think, oh, that's my, my grandpa's knife, you know, right. uh, which can be a nice thing to, to, to take advantage of, you know, uh, when the time calls for it. Um, so, yeah, now that's there's a lot to be said for the, the, the diminutive case sod buster or any sod buster for that matter. Uh, on that note, um, some sod busters from other companies, in case anybody wants to check them out. Uh, one that I like a lot is the Mazarin Plow. That's actually an Italian one and it's relatively affordable. Uh, D2 steel, hmm. that's Mazarin, M-A-S-E-R-I-N, Mazarin. Um, and it's got more of a rounded handle as opposed to the flat handles that the, uh, the flat um, covers that Case uses. So it's a little bit more hand filling. Uh, that's a good one. Um, I'm sure GEC makes a variation of the Sodbuster. Good luck getting one. Uh, the Case ones are great and they're available in a variety of different price points. They're, this is probably one of Case's most prolific knife patterns. Um, beyond that, I'm trying to think if there are any other companies making this. I'm sure Rough Rider probably has a few saw busters yep. and they'll be good. Um, they won't be perfect, but they will be good. Typically, you can rely on Rough Rider to give you an affordable quality knife. Um, Reserve hasn't done one yet, I don't think. Yeah. Not that I can pick that. Um, so yeah, just want to give you guys a few competitive options in case you know, you, in case you're like not a case fan, you want something else. My number one choice would be the Mazarin Plow. But, uh, but yeah, I guess that's about all I got to say on the side busters, you think? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, so uh, we made a good long video out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. this is probably, <laughs> <laughs> we always say this will be quick. 25 minutes 25. Later. Yeah, I didn't say it this time. I didn't say it this time. <laughs>
Well, uh, we're going to go play some uh, Dominion, and I'm yes. going to continue to uh, yes. have my adult fidget flicker here. That's how I've been with this. I've been, oh, by the way, we're in the ramble point of the video, I guess. Okay. Look at that pocket clip. Hey, I yeah. know what that's from. Yeah. <laughs> that's from the Civivi Wyvern. So I do have washed this old Wyvern, which I'm very much looking forward to modding. And I know what I'm going to do to it. And I'm very excited. Hmm. Uh, this is, I'm actually, I was curious. I said, I wonder if that Wyvern clip will fit the, the Vision R. And it does. In case you don't like the fold-over clips, um, the steel fold-over clips. I'm not a big fan of steel fold-over clips. That's titanium. That is titanium. Exactly. This is tie, and it looks wonderful. So uh, I'm actually going to order a new one specifically for this knife. Until that comes in, I'm going to have this um, Wyvern one on here. And then once I get the Wyvern work done, which I in my head, I'm like, I know what I want. I'm ready to sit down and do it. Hmm. Um, and there's going to be a video. But once I get that done, this is going back on the Wyvern. Um, but yeah, I just want to show that off, guys. That's what the Vision FG looks like with a nice milled titanium clip. So, yeah. Yep. So, We've both got new knives. This I know, time. dude. Yeah, it's a, it's a bountiful <laughs> week at the Knox Knife Mods channel. Awesome. Yeah. Well, uh, thanks for stopping by. Absolutely. As always, leave a... <laughs> All right, then. Love this thing. <laughs> leave a like, leave a comment. Comment yeah. about that if you're still please, here. <laughs> please uh, subscribe. If you, you may have already said that. Please subscribe if you haven't. We'd appreciate it. Hey, we rolled over 800. We did, yeah. 800. Thank you all thank so you much, all. man. So, Seriously. And thank, even even y'all that are here for the shit-ass comments. <laughs> We're 30 minutes in. I'm going to say it. Hey, we appreciate you too for, for what you bring to the table. You're giving us content. That's right. So, hey, yeah. You're going to make a video. Yeah, whatever reason you're here for. <laughs> yeah, thanks for being here, y'all. And uh, we'll, we'll see you in the next one. Take care.